Here's what we got today. Paver stones. Not too excited about the back here. As I started tightening down, we had the uh, the top level, the uh, right pallet there start sliding towards the center. So I uh, just snugged it up for now. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. That's it. So good afternoon. I am not too excited about this load. Uh, we have a total of 16 pallets. At first it was supposed to be 17 and then he realized it was a couple pieces that had that were already on top of the one. So it ended up being 16 which kind of screwed us up for the way it was already being loaded. Um, but it should be fine the way it is. Um, they told me that it was supposed to weigh Uh, yep, this one. Oh, it doesn't say it on here. Yeah, they're supposed to weigh 45,000 pounds. I'd rather them shoot over than under. Um, luckily I can carry this weight. This is... 47,864 pounds little off there luckily I can do 49 um, but they should have been should have been calling this 48,000 instead of wasting my time coming over here I still would have pulled it not to, not to say I wouldn't well it's not worth what it's paying either uh, it's calling 358 miles calling 758 dollars not enough for me um, but anyway, we got a couple things we're doing tomorrow and the next day. Uh, somebody's truck broke down, so I gotta go, I gotta go save the load. I don't have to, I accepted to do it. That goes down to North Carolina, and then there's a load coming out of South Carolina, coming back up to New York. So that I can get my trailer back. Because i got to drop my trailer off. Pick up the other guy's trailer. Bring that down North Carolina. And deliver the load. Grab the next load. Bring that up to Buffalo. Then go over and switch back down to Pittsburgh. To switch out my trailer. Um, which is going to put me at... Friday so Friday I will probably be dead heading home from Pittsburgh um, but we'll see what happens so uh, other crappy part about this load is, notice I got that huge box in here I said you got saran wrap or something or shrink wrap to put all around that box I said the uh, he was like, oh, we put it out here all the time like that. No, you don't. You don't put cardboard out in the rain. It's just going to get soggy and not be good. And whatever's inside is just going to freaking rust. Freaking immature idiots. Um, there was that box, and there's three uh, small rectangle, heavy rectangle boxes. And then there's one big, thin box. Uh, those four boxes fit in the side box. This box, I just had to screw it and threw it in here for now. I fixed the, uh, resituated the freezer. I'll do that in a second. I re, um, resituated the, uh, the refrigerator so that it wasn't falling over. I had to move my nursery tarp, threw that up on the top bunk, um, but when I was moving the refrigerator, all my freezer stuff fell out. 
Oh well. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, this is going over to North Lima, Ohio. Um, bring it over to them. I should have this delivered tomorrow morning. Yes, tomorrow morning should be good. So that's it for now. Um, oh, we'll see what happens. See where we end up. Um, down to the ground. You're dragging me. It's constantly. No, I, I won't make a shot. I love the pain. It sets me free It's wrong, I can't make right I love the bird below you said sitting here at the flying J um, little different camera angle now I just moved it it's gonna be a little more off-center here but uh, it gives me a better shot for out the front window uh, I did do a couple clips that you seen before this and that's just me doing holding the phone like this um, not really that it really bothers me to do that but after about a minute of holding it up there the arm starts getting a little little tired um, and um, Is 
this way I can get better better quality I guess so it's not as I'm as I'm moving the camera's moving and I'm not really paying attention to that you know I'm focused on the road I basically my power button if I tap it two, two times it opens up the camera so I tap that real quick I hit the, the record with my thumb and I just hold it up there as best as I can uh, but this way I had it set up like this once before But I ended up changing it for some reason. I don't. I don't remember what I changed it for. But that's it. Uh, we are 23 miles away from our stop. It is Wednesday, I think. I'm looking for the date. Yeah, it's Wednesday the 15th. Um. So. Our plans are looking about the same as they were when I, for what I said yesterday. Uh, we're delivering this load this morning. Um, then we got to head over. I guess we're heading over to Ohio, uh, dropping my trailer in some fenced-in yard, um, and then I'm going down, bobtailing down by Pittsburgh, uh, picking up the trailer down there. Bringing that down to North Carolina, then jumping over into South Carolina, picking up another load with that trailer, bringing it up to Buffalo, uh, delivering Buffalo on Friday, I believe, and then uh, I'll be going back over to the yard where I dropped my trailer, decking my trailer or whatever combination and way I do that. Um, And then bringing that trailer, because I guess the guy's motor blew up or something, so he's uh, he's turning his trailer in. So I'm taking it down to Louisville. So it looks like I'll be sitting in Louisville this weekend. So we'll see what happens. I got three minutes and I'm taking off. I already walked around the truck, tightened up the straps. Um, my coolant leak is back, so I gotta see if I can get some more of that stop leak stuff. That stuff worked pretty good for a while. Uh, trying to do all I can to get through another month or so. Um, and then I'm gonna end up changing that radiator. Uh, the garage that I work do stuff at, there it's a regular car garage, but um, I mostly go there for the air tools and stuff. But it's also they also have a little small farm to get a couple cows and stuff like that so they have a tractor that we'll be able to use to uh, hoist the old radiator out and put the new one in so we'll be doing that probably in the next couple months the next probably next month um, but we'll see what happens that I'm actually gonna do some recording on um, I don't know if it's really gonna be the whole step-by-step -step process but definitely going to do a little bit of recording of it um, hopefully that's the last big thing for a while I do need to order up a rebuild kit for my fifth wheel to get that taken care of and I also want to do one of those Teflon plates I guess you just uh, drill a couple holes in the in the plate itself after cleaning it up and then uh, and then that that Teflon plate just bolts on there so if you guys know anything about that let me know um so all right let's go get this done well here we are at the nursery almost done getting unloaded placing all the brick out here in the yard got uh two four six eight pallets left and then we're out of here all right we're all done thanks for watching guys stay safe and we'll see you I don't know, we'll see you later maybe, or tomorrow, we'll see you.